What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Blitzway Carbotic Series Voltron. So this has been announced for a while now. I've been really excited to get this in hand. It's actually, I think it's more than almost a year since we originally heard about this. Now, I ordered mine from both the Chosen Prime and Toy Dojo, so I actually have two. And uh, just be in case I wasn't sure, I might want one for Lion Mode and Robot Mode. We'll see. Uh, but there's a lot to go over here. There's a lot of little details. So I don't want this review to be too long, but at the same time, I want to go over everything so you know how it works. There are some things you definitely want to know before you get started so you don't uh, damage anything. All right, so here's the display base, and I showed this in the unboxing. You got the nice glossy black here for the logo. Here's the bottom. It says Blitzway 5 Pro Studio. That's the name of the company. Very, very nice. Now, everything can mount on here, both in line mode and in the combined mode. But the reason I'm starting with this is because all the accessories are in here. Now, they give you this little tool. It's to pry things, obviously, kind of like a, a spudger. So it's meant to pry this. Now, I find it easier to just get my fingernail in there and pop it up. This is magnetically attached, which is really cool. So there's one, two, three, four points, and then there's four magnets on here holding that in. So that's kind of neat. It comes with this plastic tray for shipping. Although I'm probably just going to put that back in there to hold everything securely, but you're meant to take that out and this is a little plastic cover for protection. And here's what's inside. You get an alternate Voltron face, you get the weapons for each individual line mode, you get the uh, mouth weapons, you get the sword, the long sword for Voltron, and yeah, it all stores in here. Now these actually don't really store too well so there's, there's a peg right here they're supposed to peg in right there on this slot but for whatever reason it pops out um, so I'm not really sure how this is supposed to attach if you try to put it in this way it doesn't attach either so those two pieces don't really fit too well and I just I guess it's the fitment I did try swapping them to see if that worked but it doesn't but other than that this is a really cool way to store it and I would recommend you just put this back on here to hold everything in there. Right. All right, here is the Red Lion. This is how he comes in the box, ready for combined mode. So we're going to get him transformed into his Lion mode. It's actually uh, not as simple as you would think, but go ahead and open up this panel here. It is tabbed kind of like right into the side of this. You want to get this kind of pulled away. It is tabbed in, so pull it away as far as you can. Then you're going to rotate this leg down and back. Make sure you rotate all the way back. It should be pulled all the way out like that and then angled upwards and that will allow you to take this, fold this down and tab it in. It actually tabs it under there. And Then you can put the leg back down and that's one side done. So let's do the other side exactly the same. Open this up. Make sure you pull this leg out and fold it all the way back. Take this, fold this down, slide it in, and then foot put your leg down. Alright, so that's the rear legs. Now let's do the front. Go ahead and open this up. These are the same way, so you're going to slide these outwards. They're tabbed into the side of the body, right? So make sure you get this all the way forward, or all the way out this way. Rotate that to the front. This is going to come down, slide in and then tab in underneath there. And then you can put the arm back down. Now, going the other direction, just reverse it, right? Make sure you do this on an angle coming out. And same for this. And I'll probably even show that because that's a little bit tricky. All right, open that up. Pull this out. Make sure you lift up the leg away from the body. And if you're not sure, just give it a little, little more of a nudge. And sometimes you can get a little bit more out. All right, fold this forward. This is going to come down and accordion in. And if you don't have this piece flat, then you don't have it right. So make sure you get this um, all the way in. Otherwise, you don't have it right. All right, so it should tab in like that, and this should be flush. All right, coming to the back here, open up this panel here, pull the tail out from here, take the combiner joint that's going to fold all the way in. Now 
if you push it all the way in, you might get concerned, well, how do I get that back out? And there is actually a tool. So this is the tool to get it back out. So this you take and you fit it around here, around this uh, piece here. And then that will give you some leverage to pull it back out. Right? So that's how you get it back out. I just want to show you that now because I'm not going to show you later. Um, when you push it in, it's easy to push in, but it's hard to take out. So you need this tool. And that's same for the green line as well. All right. Pull the head forward and get the feet situated. But there you have the red lion. Really awesome. I love that he's not so tiny. You know, we always get really small versions of the red and green lions because their arms and the arms are always kind of short and stubby. So I like that these guys aren't short and stubby. You can pull the head off just like uh, you could on the original toy. So you want to get that collapsed all the way down. But really, really nice looking. Let's go over the articulation. Head goes down to there, up to there. A uh, little bit of side to side, but you can rotate it on that joint. You can push it in and pull it back out. The jaw will open. There is a gun inside of here. And I'm just going to use this tool to lift it up, but that's what it looks like. For the legs, you're on a ball joint here, so it goes in and out. Rotates all the way around. You can rotate on this joint here. It is chrome. It is a fingerprint magnet, so I recommend you have a wipe cloth or something to wipe it after you've messed with it. You have a joint that goes up to there, back to there. The feet feel uh, like a lesser plastic compared to this. So I just be careful with the feet. Um, you know, don't put too much stress on them. I haven't had an issue, but I'm just telling you to be careful. You have a joint here. So if you pull this out, it goes, kind of gives him a hunched look. You can also have this joint here, both directions. There's an inner joint as well. So for the the actual combiner joint, there's going to be a double joint there. But for this one, you're using that back joint there. All right. So you can get him posed. The tail goes up and down here on this joint. Make sure you don't lift this up. It goes up to there, down to there. And then the back of the tail can go up and down as well. So you can pose that a little bit. And the rear legs are very similar on a ball joint, so it goes in and out. And all the way up, all the way back. And same thing here, up to there, back to there. You can get them sitting if you want to. All of them will sit. And, uh, yeah, just uh, really cool the way they designed it so you can get them in whatever pose you'd want but that's really cool uh, some other features on here you do have the flip open little weapon there and I was wondering about the pilots because there's a separate little co uh, container with pilots and they look like this so you get these but they're actually in there so you get two sets of pilots which is really cool so if you open this little trap door up it's just a sliding door all right, so there is actually a pilot in there, and I'm trying to use my cell phone light here, but he's actually sitting in there. It's really cool. It's actually detailed. You can see his blue and white suit. That's amazing attention to detail. All right, now as far as his weapons, they are the traditional style or traditional looking ones. You can get those pegged in here. Or actually, sorry, on the back legs. I don't remember whether they're on the front legs or the back legs. I think they remember they're being on the back legs, but uh, I think you can actually plug it into either spot, so maybe it doesn't matter. But this one plugged in here, and that looks pretty cool. There's his weapons. Uh, you can also open up the mouth here. If you push this downwards, there is a slot on the top of the mouth, right there. So you want to get this knife. It's really nicely detailed. It's got gold. I think the plastic is actually red, and then this is painted silver. So you can get this up into here. And get that pressed in. It does hold very firmly in there, but 
There you go. There he is, all armed up. Beautiful. All right, and there's your green line transformed up. Looks really nice. Got the black, gold, and silver. I like the little black bits. I mean, it was the same on the red line, but I just think that makes it stand out a little bit, all of that stuff. Overall, pretty much the exact same articulation and everything. Same thing in the mouth as well. Same gimmick with the little lasers. The only difference is this piece right here obviously looks different than the red line. And you can still see the pilot inside. Let me get a light on there. All right, so there you go. There's the green pilot. Really cool that they did that little detail. Stuff like that really uh, just impresses me. All right, and there he is, fully armed up. I guess we'll open this up too. And it's nice because if you rotate the leg, you can still rotate this weapon. So it's always facing forward. All of it works the same way. Now you can mount them on the back legs too if you want. I think I put the red line on the back, but it also works on the front just to show you. You can have it on the front there. So it, it does look good. Oops. It does look good on either spot, but you can do it however you prefer. Now one little feature which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to demonstrate is the LED. So you get an LED and a little battery like this. You're supposed to take the pin part and insert that here into the LED. It is very very dim. So I think the battery died in transit. I can't even show you the light but in order to install that you're going to remove the head open up the neck here and you can see there's a little slot there inside a little black receptacle they give you a tool to install this so you can just put it on there get that into there and it's tough to get it lined up but and yeah again I, I don't know if it's the battery or if it's and there's plenty of space for that to sit in there so it can actually stay there um, but I'd imagine if this was a working battery then the light would you need to you'd want to remove it right because otherwise your battery will die so they give you this other end to grab the battery and pull it out now I'm not really sure what the issue is here I'm not sure why it's not lighting up I wish it did but unfortunately it doesn't and I've tried actually both of them there's two sets they give you another set here another battery and another LED and just to prove my point put that in there and again no light or very dim light alright next we have the blue line which is the number four we went through the red which is number two and green number three and now we've got number four really gorgeous this one is really really hefty compared to the other two it's filled with die cast because it's in the leg so it, it makes sense right so as I mentioned you want to fold these back for the combined mode but forward for the lion mode you can take the head and rotate that forward and it, it basically will go up to there Take the legs, pull them away from the body, and then fold down the feet, like that. Come to the back here, we have a similar kind of panel system, so open that, it's tabbed in right there. Pull the leg away from the body, because it's tabbed in right there, and then fold down the foot. Rotate this all the way back, give it a little bit of angle to allow this to come back in and tab in and then now you can put the leg back by the way this is die cast these legs so they are fingerprint magnets so make sure you wipe them off after you play with it but same thing on this side pull this down give it some room fold this back in these are actually a little bit easier to get in but than the red and green get the tail out so fold this up and out and there you have the absolutely gorgeous blue line. Blue line is my favorite, personally. But yeah, yeah, really, really nice looking overall. Let's go over his articulation. So the head can go up and down. So on this neck joint, it goes basically down to there, and then it's there's a stopper. But then the neck itself on this can go down to there, up to there. 
Uh, it does go side to side. The whole body can move side to side on this joint. So you can move that, or you can just move the head side to side. Of course, the jaw opens up. There is a battery in here, and I had to get the lights turned off for you, so you'd actually be able to see it, but it is uh, pretty dim. Now, I prefer painted eyes, so I'm okay with the light not being bright enough. I mean, you can see it is lit up inside the head there, right? But due to the fact that they're painted, it is hard to see. Let me just show you turned off so you can believe me. All right, so continuing on with the articulation, you have a very similar ball joint here on the leg. So it can go in and out that way. You can rotate all the way around on that ball joint. You have a ratcheted joint here at the knee. It gets you back to there. The toe can go back to here, forward to here. And it hits a ratcheted rotation. Um, and I'm pretty sure now that I forgot to mention the rotation on this one. Let's see, does this rotate? Yes, this does rotate. So you get a rotation on these paws. My, my apologies for missing that. Uh, we do get a rotation and up and down. Might just be tight. It might not be a ratchet. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a tight joint. Uh, the back legs are very, very similar. So on the ball joint, it goes all the way back and forth. Same thing for the knees. They're ratcheted. And then the toes go back and forth and rotate. So all of that. The tail goes up to there, back to there. And then there's a joint in the middle. So you can kind of get that posed. Here's the back. The door, the trap door is closed here. And I mentioned this joint here. So you have this direction. You also have this. So it goes up to there. They're careful in the book to tell you not to overextend it. So I don't know if that's because maybe it, uh, it has a problem, but it goes up to there. So you get some nice articulation out of this guy. Of course, you do have the weapon, the pop-up weapon right there on his back, and that looks good. All right, so for the Blue Lions weapons, same kind of deal. You have the peg right here, and that'll plug in to the front or the back, whichever you prefer. doesn't really matter. In the booklet, it shows it in the front, so that's why I'm putting them in the front. And those look nice. Good-looking weapons. They can rotate on those joints. And then, of course, you get the sword for the mouth. So if you open this up, this will fit onto the teeth. So these upper teeth here, just get those in between. And then this, and uh, just be careful as you close this. Make sure it stays there. It's uh, actually pretty easy to damage these teeth, so don't close it too hard. But there you go. So there's them all armed up. Of course, we got to show secret weapons. So you have that. And then you have the pilot in there. So if we open up this trap door. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier. So you want to push down on the inside. And hence why they give you these tools. Makes things easier like this easier. So pull, push back on there. You can pull, fold it forward. So there she is. Piloting the blue lion. Really cool stuff there. So there you go for the blue line. Really good looking and fun. Right there we have the yellow line transformed again. Really beautiful. I think yellow is my second favorite out of all of these, but awesome, awesome looking. Uh, same articulation on this one. Uh, no ears again. I don't. Maybe it's my bad memory, but. I remember the original toy having the ears open up and there were guns in there too. And both the Soldier Gogan and this version don't do that, but it might just be me. But anyway, uh, everything else works the same way except for this weapon here. So you can fold this up. This can be angled to any angle. And then, of course, you can open up this. So there he is. Hunk. Pretty cool. And. Really, really nice looking. Now, he does come with weapons as well, so let's get those mounted on here. There he is, all armed up, ready for battle. Really good looking. He does have the same gimmick, so he's got a switch here. All right, and there it is with the eyes lit up. Again, it is very, very dim. Without the lights turned off, there's definitely no way to see it. I also noticed this is a little bit loose on the shoulder, but you can rotate these as well, but there you go for the light up gimmick. All right, and here is the black lion, and yes, of course, he requires a bit of transformation to get him into line mode. 
you're going to pull down on these hips. They're on actually a, a rocker. And then you're going to rotate these down. It is a very, very tight joint. I was almost too afraid to even rotate it. <laughs> rotate this down. It's going to go all the way to there. And there's his hind legs. And these are on ratchets, so that's cool. So same on this one. Rotate that down. Rotate this all the way down. Oh, it's really tight. And then get this. Rotate it downwards. Come to the front here. We're going to pull these back. Rotate them up. Those are on ratchets as well, by the way. So rotate these back. They're just going to sit like that. These panels are going to pull outwards. Now, I, I don't know if there's a better way, but it seems like this gets tabbed in there. It seems like that's the way to do it, and then once it, once it releases, it's it's free. But I'm going to take this. It's going to rotate around this way. Open up this panel here, and the book recommends pulling here, and that's going to give you some leverage to get the, the foot out. All right. Go ahead and close this up. And then same on this side. Let's see, does this still in here? I don't think it does. Okay, it sits out on the outside. All right, same thing on this side. We're going to fold this outwards, rotate this around, get that back in, open up this panel, push here to get some leverage, and then close that back up. Lift the line head upwards, and there you have, oh, and the, sorry, we forgot the tail. Lift these up for a second. And now we have his tail. And these can actually move to the outside, which is great. It's, this is also super duper heavy. It feels like a chunk of metal. Um, he has quite a bit of articulation. So the head goes down to there, which you need for the robot mode anyway, up to there side to side, rotates, lovely. The shoulders I showed you, they pull all the way out to there, but obviously that's gonna break the sculpt, so you can pull them down or up, rotates all the way around on a ratchet, rotates on a ratchet here at this joint, all the way up to there, back to there, and then on a ratchet here, all the way back to there, and up to there, and a rotation at the so, rear, I showed you these are really, really tight, but uh, it's it's tough. Eh, yeah, it's so tight. It needs to be because it's for the uh, combined mode. So, I, I'm glad it's tight, but it just it does make it for a little bit of a frustrating um, experience in the in the uh, lion mode. You get this joint here on a ratchet, and then this joint on a ratchet, and then a rotation at the toe. Tail can go down to there, up to there, and then this secondary tail joint can move as well. You also get an ab crunch here, so this can go down to there. Just so I can show you. There's also a pull-down joint here, so you can make him longer if you want to. Uh, I'm not sure if the intent is to have him that way or not. But I think he looks cool, so you can get him like that in kind of a prone, you know, position. Now, of course, he does come with weapons as well, so you get the two blasters here that will fit into the sides of the arms. These are kind of a tight fit, but once you get them in, they are uh, nice and secure. It's just there's a there's a ring that you have to get through to get it in there. So there goes for those, but then once you get it in, you can rotate them and hose them. Let me undo his ab crunch here. Uh, you also get his mouth sword. Open this up, and I don't want to reveal the head just yet, so we'll hide that away. But this works very similar to all other black lions. You're going to get it wedged in between the teeth, and there you go. He is ready for battle. Now you also get the gimmick here, so if you rotate these out to the side, you can open this up, and of course there is Commander Keith sitting in the side there. Of course, let me get some light on him, but 
There he is. Beautiful. Beautiful looking. Let's look at the light up feature here on the lion head. So if you come to the bottom here, there's a switch right here. And I think forward is on. And there it is all lit up. This one actually lights up blue in the middle and then the eyes are yellow. Again, it is dim because of the paint. Uh, but again, I prefer the painted eyes, but really, really cool. And there you have the Lion Team all together, fully armed up, ready to fight. Really, really cool to see them together. Now, that's not all you can do. There is a display feature with the stand. So let's get the stand in here and I'll show you how to do that. So here's the display stand once again, and we're going to get the flight adapters attached here. So they are color coded. Now, you can put them in any way you want, but I'm going to put them in in the order that they have them, uh, just so I can display it the way that they do. So here's how they have it in the book. Red, blue, black, yellow, and then green. So we'll start with the red. Uh, it just has a little slide here, or a track. And it fits in here, so you're just going to slide those in. All right, now since we have the stand all set up and ready to go, I just want to show you there is one other feature here while I have it oriented this way. You can flip these pieces out, and you can take your blazing sword and set it in there. And then you can take the spinning blade, and that will sit in here as well. And just a little bit of storage for you to get these things in while you have the... Uh, the lines displayed. All right, so starting off with the red and green line, you do need to do a little bit of prep. You're going to open up this panel here. You are going to need this tool. Uh, make sure you have the slotted side up, and then that's going to fit onto here. You're going to use some leverage to get this out, like that. Once you get it far enough, you can just do it by hand, and then close this down. That's going to plug into this adapter right here. So, nice little system, it actually sits very securely, and then you can get him posed or whatever, like he's flying at you with the weapons. Really cool. So green line, basically exactly the same, so let's get that done off camera. Alright, there you go, that is just so cool. But we gotta move on, so next we've got the blue line and the yellow line. So you're gonna come to the back here, open up their butt flaps, and this is gonna attach the same way it attaches for the combined mode. So putting it on, you're just going to put it on, but taking it off, you need to push this button to release it. So go ahead and get this attached onto here. It is uh, kind of a tight fit, so you got to make sure it's lined up. And you may need to push the button to get it on there, but once you get it on there, it is nice and secure. All right, there you go for the blue and yellow. This is just amazing. The last one is the black, of course, and he's got just a little peg hole in his butt. That's going to go right on that peg there. So just get that lined up. Um, and there you go. All of them are ready to fly into action. This is really a moment, right, for this set. It's really, really secure. They're not going anywhere, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, it does move around a little as you move the figure, but once you put this on the shelf, man, what an amazing display option. All right, and here we are back where we started with them ready to be combined into Voltron. Now, there's only a couple things I haven't done, which is fold out the wings and reveal the head, which we're going to save for last. But first things first, let's start with the legs. So make sure you have this button pressed. Make sure you have this panel all the way open. This is going to slide down. It's going to notch in to the leg right here. So that's why you want to push that button and make sure it's notching in. So push the button in, slide it down, and then let go of the button. It should catch, and if it doesn't, then you got to push it down a little bit more. But you should see this button pop back out. If it didn't pop back out, it's not locked in. All right, so now let's do the other side. Same thing. Make sure this is folded all the way down. Slide this down, press the button in, and you want it to pop back out. And if it pops back out, you know you're good. All right, next we'll take care of the arms. They're pretty simple. They just plug in. There's no mechanism locking or anything. They do stay in nice and tight, but just wanted to mention they don't have a locking mechanism. 
Come to the back here. We're going to fold these down, fold this wing up, and then use that ratchet to go to the outside. Down, up, and then to the outside. And they're just going to sit on these rear arms, just like the original design. And the last bit, of course, is we'll form the head. Go ahead and open up his ears. Bring down the mouth to reveal Voltron. Awesome. And getting it up close on the details, there's that face sculpt. Really, really quite beautiful. All sorts of paint on this guy. You got the silver, you got the purplish, the yellow for the eyes, the black underneath. The jaw itself is painted really well, but that's the same based on line head. Got a lot of articulation on this, so while we're here, let's take a look. So it goes all the way up to there, all the way down to there, just due to the way they've designed this neck. Side to side, rotates, I mean, freely. That's just an incredible amount of articulation on the head. It does still have the light-up gimmick, so if you come down to here and you hit the switch, the same switch that we had, there it is fully lit up. you got the eyes and the blue piece here, and then the eyes for the actual Voltron face do light up. Again, it is a painted surface, so it's not that bright, but beautiful. Now, one other thing you can do with the head, of course, is swap the faceplate. So you get the standard faceplate or this yelling face. So to swap that out, you're going to lift up the head and you want to kind of get the face plate up. Uh, and it is tricky, but you're going to basically pull it off of these two tabs. So you can see there's a tab and then a slot. Off. But there you go for the yelling face. Um, that's also really quite beautiful. Continuing down with the articulation, the arms will go up on this joint here. It is ratcheted. So it goes all the way up to there. You do get a butterfly joint due to the way they've designed. So you can see, I mean, it gets all the way into there, which is wonderful. I just also revealed the, the ab crunch, but we'll get to that in just a second. You do want to get that tab in first and then close up that thing. Uh, of course, you get this up and down as well on the bicep joint there. That rotates all the way around. It is ratchet. It's a soft ratchet. It it holds very, very nicely. I'm just worried over time, is that going to hold? It seems fine now, but I do have a little bit of worry. Let me turn off this switch before I forget. Um, but that works just fine. You have a double jointed elbow due to those two joints I showed you before. So you can bend at the inner joint as well. But it will get you the full 90 degrees. You have rotation at the bicep. You have this joint here, which gives you that. So if you're trying to bring the arms together, you can use this joint here, which was the lion mode, get, getting that uh, ab crunch. But that really helps with uh, holding the sword together or stuff like that. You have a waist rotation here. Goes, it, it is it does have a stopper, so it stops right there. If you lift up, you can extend his waist if you want him to be taller. I'm not sure if you want to, but there's a couple stops. So there's that one, the top one, that one, that one, and then all the way down. There's actually there's one more in the middle, but you can also get a really cool ab crunch. So he goes down to there with that ab crunch. That's uh, really, really impressive. So coming down to the legs, you do get a joint out to the side, up to there. It does hold. It is a really strong, nice ratchet. Uh, forward, I showed you the joint before, but there's a drop down joint here. So you get that movement, but then the strong ratchet will hold. This knee ratchet is not whole all strong enough to hold the, the foot up, but I don't know who's kicking with the leg up. As long as his ratchet holds for the hip, I'm fine because that's the poses you're going to need. Of course, it does go out to the side as well. So you get all that movement on the hip. That's really quite a bit. Uh, show, I already showed you the knee, but there is a collapsing piece right here that will allow you to get the knee all the way up to there. So basically double jointed because you get the full bend out of that knee. Really, really ingenious stuff there.
Coming down to the leg, you have a tilt at the uh, ankle. The ankle goes down here as well. And that's the same joint we used for the lion mode, right? But you can also get the foot up and down too. So you can't get the foot forward or back. So some really, really nice articulation on this figure. As far as the weapons, he can hold them very securely. So there's a tab here on the inside. That's going to go in the same spot in the mouth as the weapons for the red lion. So get that around, tab that in, and close. And he does hold that nice and secure. The blazing sword. You also have the spinning disc here. Same thing, you're going to rotate this handle until you get it to the side. And then that's going to peg into the top of the green lion's mouth. And that looks absolutely wonderful. And there he is posed with the solar combat spears, is what they're called. I never even knew that, but looks really good. So you have all those options there. And of course we can use the display stand in the robot mode as well. So these you basically pull out. I showed you how to insert them, basically flip them around and put them up vertically with the colors facing forward so you can actually see those. Uh, and that'll allow you to actually display some of the pieces. So you can put Voltron on here. So that's really cool. So the bottom little butt joint or the, the butthole for uh, the black lion will still fit on here which allows you to do some really cool posing. Um, if you take out the yellow and the blue, so you can get him into some flying poses there. Um, or if you don't want to do that, you can just set him on the stand here. I'd probably set him around the black here so you don't damage the black. Uh, but there's some other things you can do. So you can take this piece here. It's got a little adapter that plugs in like this. And then this is going to fit into your red lion's stand piece. And then that is going to allow you to take this, I have it upside down, and this is going to fit into here and kind of hold the uh, sword for you, which is really pretty cool. Uh, you can also take this one, and this also has an adapter. So it looks like this. You're going to take this piece and attach it right here on the green. And then the tab on the inside of the uh, blade is going to tab into that. And there you go. You can have them kind of displayed next to him without them in use. And one last little feature I didn't really talk about, but... You have the pilots here, standalone, separate from what's inside the lion. So if you want to display these, you can put them here. Um, they are really tiny and kind of kind of fragile. So I'd be very careful with these if you're going to display them. Uh, but they did include it, and they are nice display pieces to have. Uh, just be careful with those. And for size comparison, there it is next to the Bandai Soul of Chugokin GX71 Voltron, the previous title holder of Best Voltron Ever. And um, yeah, he towers over him, uh, but he's also quite a bit more cost, I think close to double the cost, not quite. So we are going to do a versus on these two. You know, I debated back and forth, but I think they're both vying for that, you know, definitive Voltron. So we will do a versus on these later. So I don't want to spend too much time here, but there you go for a comparison. And just in case you don't own a GX71 Voltron, there it is next to the MP44 Optimus Prime. Uh, towers over him, so Optimus comes up to about his waist here. So final thoughts on the Blitzway Carbotic Series Voltron. Let's start with the positives. Just look at this pose. I mean, this says it all, right? It's stable. It's uh, got a really nice hardware. It looks good. The stand integrates with both modes, and it's a really nice quality, high premium stand. Um, the accessories and everything all work. They all look good. Uh, the sword is a little bit loose in the hand, but overall the look of it and the detail on it, on everything really here is, is great. Um, I do like the little pilots, not only inside of the lions, but the separate ones they give you. That's very impressive that they included that. 
the lion modes themselves are also really well done. Each individual lion is very high quality premium. It does feel really good. Uh, the only really negatives I can think of is one, the batteries don't really work and the light up features don't really work. So on the blue and yellow line, it was kind of dim, hard to see without the lights off. The red and green didn't really work for me at all. It might have been my batteries, but at least on my copy, they don't work. The black lion and the Voltron head, that does light up and that does work, but again, it's somewhat dim. But other than those things, I absolutely recommend it. It's a great version of Voltron. Now, I will be doing a versus with the Solar Jigokin version, uh, which, of course, is a very different price point, but they are both uh, supposed to be a, quote-unquote, masterpiece versions of Voltron. So we will compare those. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.